Today we're talking about one of the most dangerous jobs in the military. But first, this episode is brought to you by Doc Young, who wanted to give a shout out to his grunts in the 26th Infantry Regiment. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look up the most dangerous jobs in the military, you're going to see things like infantry, special forces, combat engineer. But one that might surprise you is the word trucker. If you're in the army, it's an 88 Mike. If you're in the Marines, it's a 3531. For some reason that I can't even begin to understand, trucking is considered a soft MOS. Soft means that you should never be in combat. You shouldn't be in any inherent danger. Now, maybe I'm the dumb one, but I don't think the guy driving a military-grade semi, aka an engine attached to two I-beams with a set of fucking wheels on it, driving a truckload full of angry Play-Doh through an IED-infested highway, fits that description. While it may not surprise you that IEDs pose a significant threat to truckers, what you may not know is that the enemy specifically ambushes supply convoys. Apparently, they read the art of war. And what I mean by that is, is when the infantry rolls by, the enemy will consistently not ambush the infantry. Because, well, living is cool. So they consistently attack truck drivers thinking that they'll be an easy target. But they're wrong. And I'm not saying truck drivers can fight better than the infantry. I'm just saying they know how to run a 50 cal like Mozart knows how to run a fucking orchestra. But if you don't know what a 50 cal is, that would be this large gun right here. And it shoots these enormous freedom seeds. If you don't know much about guns, that bullet is so big that if it misses you and goes over your shoulder, the concussion wave alone will kill you. Here's the deal. At the beginning of the global war on terror, American forces were not ready to handle guerrilla warfare. They had light vehicles with little to no armor, and very few had turrets. If you don't know, a turret is this thing right here with the armor and the gun on top. 88 mics got shit done anyways. They would put sandbags on the floorboards of their trucks to provide some amount of protection to IEDs. They welded their own turrets on top. Because while the grunts are badass, they're still human. They need shit bricks, and they need water. And the 88 mics have a long history of getting them those supplies, regardless of what it takes. Because of the extreme danger that these men and women face, and the extraordinary lack of recognition for that danger, 88 mics in the army are commonly referred to as 88 mistakes, also referred to as IED magnets. Now, along with having an enormous set of testicles, or ovaries, these men and women are actually really skilled. I would be willing to bet money that an 88 Mike or a 3531 could parallel park a fucking train. In conclusion, 88 Mikes have a long history of getting shit done, regardless of what it takes, and they deserve way more recognition for it than what they get. So here's to you. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy my content, would like to buy me a beer about it, there's a link for that right here. That is also the link for my t-shirts. That is also the link for my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, that link is in the video description. I'm also working on getting hoodies and stickers. And this logo will be available soon as a water bottle decal. So until next time, thank you for your service. Quack bang out.